breakfast this evening, the unemployment rate jumped to 4.1% in April as more Australians struggled to find work. About 30,000 people joined the jobless queue, while more than 40,000 managed to find some part-time work. Economists say the higher interest rates are slowing economic growth and the demand for workers. David Taylor reports. Recruiter Erin Devlin helps place hundreds of candidates into roles every month and she's noticing more frayed nerves than usual in the waiting room. Candidates are feeling a little bit more nervous about getting the right role. They can see the pace of recruitment processes slowing. The lower demand for workers has been highlighted in the latest employment report from the Bureau of Statistics. Full-time jobs fell by 6,100, while part-time roles rose by 44,600. Erin Devlin says bosses are getting increasingly picky about who they hire. The pace that hiring managers are coming back with answers is a little bit slower and that's because there is more hesitation on the employer side whether or not to hire on the permanent side. We're seeing a little bit of an uptick on the temp and contract side, which is not uncommon in this type of environment. The combination of more people looking for work and reduced demand for workers has pushed more people into unemployment. Put simply, more Australians want work but can't find it. Economists say higher interest rates are taking their toll on the economy and businesses. But AMP Deputy Chief Economist Diana Musina cautions the employment data has been difficult to interpret. If you go back to January, the unemployment rate was at 4.1% and then it was revised down quite a lot and now it's gone back up to 4.1%. But in saying that, if you read the detail of what the ABS said in the jobs data today, they mentioned that there are more people than usual in the month of April who are waiting to start another job. So are technically unemployed, but they had a job to go to next month or maybe the month after. So what that means is a risk that the unemployment rate next month goes down again. So you're kind of seeing this zigzag pattern in the unemployment rate, which can make analysis difficult. Is it broadly, is the unemployment rate broadly rising? Well, the trend data would suggest that yes, it is. I mean, the trend numbers look through a lot of this volatility. The trend unemployment rate is at 4%. And spare a thought for younger Australians trying to land a job and save money. Official data shows no improvement in the youth unemployment rate, stuck at 9.6%. The jump in the official unemployment rate barely rated a mention in question time in Parliament. But the Treasurer, Jim Chalmers, squeezed in this reference to the total number of jobs created since Labor came to power. Today we got another unemployment number, Mr Speaker, which showed that 820,000 jobs, and most of them full-time, have been created on this Prime Minister and this Government's watch, Mr Speaker. And that is an important thing as well, Mr Speaker. As for where to from here, well, People to People Recruitment Managing Director Erin Devlin says much depends on how much further inflation or the cost of living crisis eases. If inflation continues to go upwards or we see rates put up further, then I would say um, there would be a, a correlating effect in the jobs market and the unemployment rate going up. While Diana Musina says today's jobs data puts a nail in the coffin for the prospect of any further Reserve Bank interest rate hikes. The Reserve Bank should really not even be talking about a rate hike at the next meeting at a time when the unemployment rate's going up. Financial markets have raised their bets today of a Reserve Bank interest rate cut before Christmas. David Taylor.